Welcome to Wind Chime Storytime. I'm David. And I'm Reese. Today we are reading the story of Tinsel, the Fairy of Love by Liana Wall. Let's join Selena, Sparkle, and Glitter as they prepare for the arrival of the next fairy princess. The Kingdom of Enchandream was getting prepared for the glorious season of autumn and the magical color change of the leaves, trees, and flowers. Bright emerald green transforming into glowing amber orange. The creatures loved this time of year. They all liked to help the trees and flowers get ready to catch all the falling leaves so that they could be creative and make belongings from them for their oak tree homes. Sparkle and Glitter loved to help too. As tiny fairies, they were perfect for looking after the smaller creatures in the kingdom, such as ladybirds, caterpillars, butterflies, beetles, and baby squirrels. They were all such wonderful friends. They danced together, chased each other, and played games every day. They spent most of their time on adventures and exploring all the amazement of the woods. During this time of seasonal change, Selena was also waiting in anticipation for the arrival of the new fairy princess. Selena wondered what her new daughter would be like, excited that there would be a new addition to the kingdom. As she watched each leaf fall from the trees, she smiled fondly. A fairy would be born anew and grow, just like her fairy princess kingdom would grow again. In the deeper part of Enchandream, beyond the River of Wonders, and past the sleeping burrow where the rabbits lay, lived a family of pixies. Pixies are a lot like fairies, but they do not have wings. Instead, pixies are rich in magical powers. They have a magnificent relationship with larger animals, and they are very entertaining and gentle to all those who believe in them. The rabbits in Enchandream are best friends with the pixies. As pixies cannot fly, the rabbits take them wherever they need to go on their backs, whilst the pixies hold on to their soft, fluffy rabbit ears. The king and queen of pixies in Enchandream were named Aoife and Eva, respectively. They had a son called Flynn, who was the prince of the pixies. He was a very handsome pixie prince with pointed ears, intensely green eyes, and golden hair. Pixies also work very hard, and the secret to them is if they are loving enough to the world, they can eventually become a fully-fledged fairy and gain their wings. Flynn dreamed one day that he would eventually become a fairy and find his princess, and that they would live in the Willow Tree Palace together. The sun slowly began to set on this autumn day. The sky transformed into a beautiful red sunset with the warmest of pink sunshine tones. Sparkle and Glitter knew that this was a magical time and they waited for Selena to introduce their new princess. As warm as fire and as mystic as gems, Selena welcomed the third of the fairy princesses. The kingdom cheered with delight. Sparkle and Glitter danced with joy with Dottie and their other forest friends in the willow tree where Selena appeared, holding in her arms the third princess. Sparkle and Glitter skipped on their tiptoes over to meet their new fairy sister and saw with delight that she had pink hair and lips matching the sunset's radiance they had just seen in Enchandream. Sparkle was mesmerized by the blush of her new fairy princess sister. Mother, we must name her Tinsel, said Sparkle. She is shimmering and I am experiencing a wonderful feeling of happiness in me. Selina nodded and agreed. 
just like the tinsel that humans place on their Christmas trees in the world sparkle. So that sunset evening, they named her Tinsel. Once again, Selina now had to wait to see what power she could grant her princess, Tinsel. Watching to see how she would grow with the help of Enchandream and her sisters. Over time, Tinsel discovered she was fascinated by all things with the colors pink and red. She loved the roses, the tulips, the bright robin's breasts, the berries on the bushes, and the red apples on the trees. Tinsel also wanted all her dresses in pink and red colors. It made her so happy. Luckily, she already had the pink hair that matched her pink dresses and shoes perfectly. As the days went by and autumn was in the air, Tinsel found herself wanting to be around the creatures of Enchandream, who were very close to one another. Those who cuddled, those who held hands, those who gave and received kisses to each other. She loved seeing the birds on the oak tree branch, hugging and singing together whilst cuddling each other's wings. Tinsel attended every wedding, applauding and smiling for every creature in the wood that was married by the wise owl of the Evermore tree, standing tall in the kingdom. Tinsel longed to be loved by someone, in the same way that the various forest animals loved each other. They all were so happy, content, and peaceful to have someone by their side. After honey supper, Tinsel went to her mushroom bed. She closed her eyes and thought of all the love and enchant dream. Every night before she fell asleep, Tinsel would speak the same three words to her sisters and mother. Those three words were, I love you. These three words made Tinsel fall straight to sleep, knowing that she would always have her sisters and mother beside her, filled with a feeling that meant everything to her heart. The following day, Tinsel was busy cleaning the branches on the willow tree of the palace with a fern leaf, when suddenly she heard a beautiful melodic song, a tune that was so joyful and harmonious that it fascinated her. She looked around the bottom of the tree and down in the shrubs that were growing below, yet she realized in amazement, looking into the distance with her little ears in the air, that the tune was coming from beyond the river of wonders. Tinsel put down her cleaning leaf and flew closer to hear the beautiful music. Tinsel concealed herself behind the long grass stems on the hillside. As the music grew louder, she parted the grass with her little hands to peek through. She looked down from the hilltop and saw it was coming from inside the rabbit burrow underneath her. Tinsel flew down from the hill and slowly tiptoed into the burrow. She saw a pixie boy sitting with his back against the burrow walls, playing a tune with grass strings in a wooden box. It sounded so romantic that Tinsel had to start dancing and swaying to his melody. Hello, said Flynn, his big green eyes opening wide upon seeing Tinsel in the distance by the burrow. Oh, hello, said Tinsel timidly. Please don't stop playing your music, it is so wonderful. Flynn then stood up and walked swiftly over to Tinsel. Thank you. I like playing music and singing melodies, said Flynn. Thank you for dancing to it. What is your name? My name is Tinsel. You are a fairy princess, said Flynn in amazement of this vision before him. I have always wanted to meet one of you. I have heard that you live in the fairy kingdom. Tinsel replied, we do, but I am usually fluttering high in the canopy of the trees in Enchantry, cleaning the branches. Yet, once I heard this sound and melody you were playing, I had to discover what it was. I am so pleased you did, said Flynn. 
Tinsel grinned from ear to ear, and with a giggle, she waved goodbye to Flynn and started to fly back out of the rabbit's burrow. Wait, please, Tinsel, said Flynn. In case I do not get this chance again with you, please take this. Flynn removed a bright red stone on a dark brown string from around his wrist and handed it to Tinsel. What is this? And what a beautiful shape, said Tinsel. It is so stunning. It is a heart, said Flynn. A heart sheep means love. Tinsel took the heart from Flynn and tied the string around her little wrist. She thanked Flynn and waved goodbye to him. As she flew back to the willow tree, she was overcome with an adoring feeling in her tummy, like a thousand butterflies all tickling her at once. Tinsel then started humming the melody Flynn was playing, and she danced merrily into the Willow Palace. Queen Selina watched Tinsel with joy as she skipped into her bedroom. Selina saw and admired how happy Tinsel was, and, observing the heart-shaped bracelet around her wrist, Selina knew that it was a gift from the Pixies, and now she had the third power she was waiting to offer one day to one of the princesses. Selina flew over to Tinsel, who was still dancing in her bedroom, and held her closely in her arms. You are so kind, Tinsel. This heart on your bracelet matches the love inside of you. Your heart is so great and devoted, and I know you are blessed with a special gift. The power that I want to grant you entirely is the gift of love. Tinsel then watched Selena's wings open wide and light up with all the colors of the rainbow. She smiled and watched her mother sing these magical words to her. My dear Tinsel, you love to smile and you are filled with so much love. You care for those around you in the world and stars above, your friends and all your family. You tell them I love you. You have opened your heart to love and the wonders it can do. Tinsel then looked down at her pink dress and saw lots of little mini red hearts suddenly magically appear, matching the heart that Flynn's bracelet showed. Tinsel was so very happy and thanked her mother for such a wonderful power, telling her of her adventure in the rabbit burrow. Now open your heart and let others in, Tinsel, said Selina. Flynn is a special friend. If you find happiness and love, then show it. Tinsel then kissed her mother on the cheek and flew back to the burrow just past the River of Wonders, looking for Flynn. She could not wait to tell him what power she had just been given, but Flynn was nowhere to be seen. She looked under the rabbit's bedding inside the burrow. She called his name and looked under every rock, leaf, and stone but there was no sign of Flynn. Tinsel became very sad, sat down on a toadstool, took her bracelet, and held the heart tightly in her hand. She missed Flynn and his music. She was so looking forward to seeing him. Tinsel, not knowing if she would ever see her friend Flynn again, softly whispered, holding the heart bracelet, I love you, Flynn. Tinsel's wings then started to glow bright ruby red, as did all the hearts on her dress and the heart on the bracelet on her wrist. Suddenly, she felt a little tap on her shoulder. She looked behind her, and there he was! Flynn! Flynn! cried Tinsel. I'm so happy to see you. I will always be here for you, Tinsel. The bracelet I gave you has been made magical. Keep it safe. I will forever be here for you. Unbeknownst to Selina and the other pixies, Aoife and Eva 
were secretly watching from the oak tree branch above, hiding and peeping over the leaves. Selina, queen of the fairies, visited the pixies. Friendship is a special thing, said Selina to the other pixies. Yes, family and friends are, said Eva. Selina looked at the adoration and loyalty that Tinsel had been granted by a pixie, and knowing she would be the fairy who possesses all the love in the world, she felt content. Selina then said goodbye to the king and queen of the pixie. She looked back fondly at Tinsel and Flynn, so delighted in each other's company, as she flew away from the oak tree. Flynn started to play Tinsel's favorite music to her again, and she was dancing joyfully along to it, just as she did before, and just as she always would. Gazing at the sunset red sky in the distance, Selina flew gracefully back to her palace in the willow tree. When she had returned, she whispered from the depths of her kingdom below to the rest of her kingdom above, and beyond the sky to the human world. If you ever feel your love is lost, look deep in your heart. Love is always there. Believe, and you shall find it. Thanks for listening to Windchime Storytime. Have a pleasant day. And the next adventure's on the way. Bye! Bye.